this, um, and this is a little bit more technical, um, but your user authorization reports, you can um, have more detail printed out on your user authorization by module. Um, so it gives you um, better reporting for that, especially when audit comes around and you need to give the auditors um, more detailed reports on uh, what the users have access to. Um, another thing is the data dump and data load when you're dumping and loading your databases. Historically, um, only an admin or someone with admin password can do that. Um, but now, if that if there's a person that is a non-administrator um, and they have access to do that, um, we, they can also use those functions. So as I mentioned before, um, in the bank module, you have the post button available. Um, some of the other changes in 2016 version is um, the reverse transaction screen. Um, I know from a user, um, when you are looking up a payment or a check number, it takes forever for it to populate. So Sage has made it a little bit better as far as the um, window opening up much much faster and searching for your transactions faster. Also on the quick querying screen, um, that is also approved with the um, with clearing deposits and withdrawals faster than it was before. Um, so that, that's off, uh, a big change, I know, from my perspective, because I remember waiting a long time, especially when you have a lot of um, payments in there. Some new features in the Accounts Receivable button um, in 2016 is the Post button. Um, you have it in your Invoice Entry screen and your Receipt Entry screen, also your Adjustment Entry screen and your Refund screen. So you have that Post um, button in a lot of places. Um, you also have your Post All button in your um, Invoice Batch List, Receipt Batch List, Adjustment Batch List, and Refund Batch List. So you can post multiple batches at the same time instead of going one by one. Same thing in the Accounts Payable screen. Um, that Post button is very um, is something that was utilized a lot. And basically, they put it in the Invoice Entry screen, the Payment Entry screen, and the Adjustment Entry screen. And then you will also see the Post All button, which is the multiple batch posts in the Invoice Batch List, Payment Batch List, and the Adjustment Batch List screen. Some of your general ledger changes in the 2016 version. Um, one, you have your um, user um, ID here appeared, so you can see who actually entered um, the journal entry, which is helpful um, because historically we have to go and look in a database to get that information, but now they have um, put it directly on the screen. Um, another um, item that's changed is that we have the document date and the posting date on the general ledger screen. So now that enables you to run reports by document date and posting date and provides more um, flexibility for reporting. So new features in the order entry screen and project and job costs. Um, basically, you can specify whether a message appears when you post an order. Um, so you have a little bit um, flexibility on what, what you see pop up when you're entering an order. Um, project and job costs, um, there's, uh, they've done some efficiency in deleting a project, so it's much faster. Um, and also clearing history for closed contacts. So let's talk about what's new in version 2017. Um, the new big thing in 2017 is notes. Um, this notes functionality is on the desktop um, on your main screen in Sage 300, as you see boxed out here. Um, basically, it allows you to add notes for customers, vendors, and inventory items. And how this happens is when you click on that notes button, you get a screen that basically allows you to select your customer. Um, enter a note and basically designate the customer number and, and you save that note. So anytime someone goes to a customer screen, you will see 
this note pop up that someone entered. So you can have the most accurate information at that time on the customer. Um, so that's very um, helpful um, to, to keep information that needs to be known to a user um, right away. Um, so and that, that applies also to the vendor screen and to the inventory screen, as I said previously. Another feature, um, this applies to more of people who are running the Sage payment solution. Um, there is a charge button that enables you to process credit card payments with one click. Um, so this is just a quick, easy way to, to process while you're in the order entry screen or even the AR receipt entry or the AR prepayment screen. Finally, for 2017, if you have the SAGE Intelligence Report Utility, there are a lot of new reports um, that are available through this utility that gives more reporting um, based off of your, instead of the, the standard SAGE Intelligence Reports that are already provided out of the box. So this gives, like if you have project and job costs, you have more um, reports that you can run from this um, SAGE Intelligence Report Utility, um, and it's very helpful um, with getting that done. And these are, I just basically screen print some of the reports. There, there are a lot of reports. There are AR reports, AP reports, um, some other statistical reports, so um, it just gives you a lot of um, good reporting there. So basically that is um, all the upgrades on, uh, all the enhancements that have been done for 2016 and 2017 um, that are related to um, Sage, Intelli uh, SAGE 300. I have somehow managed to mute everyone, and I'm trying to unmute so that we can ask questions. So if y'all, there we go. <laughs> All right. Now I've got a, got everyone unmuted. Does anybody have any questions at this point? Oh, I have one. Um, are all these upgrades available on the local install or the cloud or both? So most of this is all, all of this is just on the local install. Um, I know we're going to do a separate presentation on the C, the web screen. So the, all of these are for just the local install on um, your server. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Hello? Go ahead. Uh, yes, um, I'm wondering if in an, uh, the intelligence reporting, if there is um, a report that gives you all of your orders, just the OE order total for like a, a time period for a month, um, regardless of whether that has been invoiced or not. It seems like the current reports give you, like sales reports give you only invoice items, not just um, your the actual orders entered for that time period. Let me look out of the box. Um, I can. I don't see anything that just does all orders, um, but that is a report that can be customized for you if you need um, that. To, if you need to pull all your orders. Okay, so that's something I have oh, it's to. Oh, it's not. Go yeah. Do my consultant to get. Yes. Yes. That's. Yes, or you can contact Phil and he can connect you with a consultant that can get that information for you. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? All right. Well, folks, thank you very much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Um, it like Obi said, you can certainly give us a call here. You can call your consultant to, if you have any uh, questions that this is raised for you, or you can give us a call here at our, our home office uh, at 281-364-8783. 
is the main number, or you can dial me directly at 281-528-1090. So thanks again, everyone, and you all have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, Obi. Thanks, Obi. Thanks. Bye.